If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. You can insert new modern charts into your reports in Access or use the older Microsoft graph chart controls which are still available for backward compatibility in Access 2019 and 365. This lesson shows you how to insert the older Microsoft graph chart controls in reports in Access using the chart wizard to help you show data from queries or tables. All charts in Access are inserted as a report control. Unlike other report controls, Chart controls use their own data source to chart the data. Therefore, you can insert it into a blank, unassociated report if desired by clicking the Report Design button in the Reports button group on the Create tab of the ribbon. Also ensure you enable the Use Control Wizards button by clicking the More arrow in the lower right corner of the scrollable list of controls in the Controls button group on the Design tab of the Report Design Tools contextual tab in the ribbon to show its drop-down menu. Ensure the Use Control Wizards button is highlighted, which means it is enabled. If not highlighted, click the button in the drop-down menu to enable it. This makes it much easier to create a Microsoft Graph chart. However, note that this wizard will not appear if you choose to insert a modern chart in Access. To insert an older Microsoft Graph chart control into a report in Access, Click the Insert Chart button in the scrollable list of controls in the Controls button group on the Design tab of the Report Design Tools contextual tab in the ribbon. Then click and drag over the area in the report you want the chart to cover. If you enabled the Use Control Wizards button, then when you release your mouse button, the Chart Wizard dialog box opens. In the first screen of the Chart Wizard, select the data source for the chart. You can select either the Tables, Queries, or both Option button to display those types of objects in the list. Then select the name of the table or query to use as the chart's data source from the listing of tables and or queries. Then click the Next button to continue. In the next screen, choose the fields to show in the chart by selecting them from the Available Fields list and then clicking the right pointing arrow button to move them into the Fields for Chart list. Then click the Next button to continue. In the next screen, click the type of chart you want to create from the listing of chart types shown. Then click the Next button to continue. In the next screen, drag and drop fields shown at the right side of the window into the desired chart location shown at the left side of the window. You can double click any summary field shown to change the function performed on the field in a separate dialog box if needed. You can also click the Preview Chart button to show a preview of your chart in a separate window. Once you are satisfied with the appearance of your chart, click the Next button to continue. In the last screen of the Chart Wizard, type a title for your chart into the box provided, and then select whether to add a legend to the chart. Click the Finish button to add the chart control to your report. Don't worry if the chart doesn't display your data in Report Design View. It won't. You must switch to Layout View to see the chart's data and resize the chart control until it appears the way you want it to in the report. Microsoft Graph Charts are independent objects that contain many smaller objects that have their own properties which you can independently format if desired. When in Report Design View, you may select the chart control and then view its properties in the Property Sheet pane. The Row Source property that appears on the Data tab in the pane shows the SQL code of the query upon which the chart is based. If you click into the Row Source property box, you can then click the Builder button that appears at the right end of the box to view the SQL query in the Visual Query Design View, which you can edit if needed. To format the chart when using Report Design View, double-click the chart control to activate the Microsoft Graph program. Note that the toolbars change to reflect that fact. The new toolbar that appears lets you format the chart. 
you can select any chart object and then click the buttons in the new toolbar to change its formatting. The data shown in the data sheet when you edit the chart just shows the most recent data. You do not need to change the data sheet info. After making any formatting changes you want, click back into the blank area of the report to close Microsoft Graph and switch back to Access. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.